and this is the top of Le Petit Vignemal. I'll give you a 360. Now you see something, now you don't, but you mostly don't. <laughs> Just watching my feet. I think I'll stay here five or ten minutes. I feel sort of quite comfortable. It, it does feel a bit sort of unnerving because you, you don't know what's going to happen next. You know, is this going to suddenly become rain or are you suddenly going to hear a clap of thunder? Anything can happen. This is okay, but uh, you just don't know. So I'll stay here for five minutes, I think, and, and hope in vain, I'm sure. <laughs> Just looking at it, it's it's, uh, it's ridiculous. But I'll give it five minutes and hope that uh, you know I can make some photographic use of this. There's a spot of blue. Oh, there's quite a big patch of blue actually in the sky over there. Yeah, you see, I mean, it's it's changing all the time. It's not particularly sort of congealed. It, it's it's floating around this this thick cloud. Now you see it. Now you don't. So. You know, over here, or over there, I should say, because that's not nearby. That's quite a long distance away. It's it's still quite clear, and that actually is Le Vignemal, the mountain proper. You have to get, climb up the glacier to get up the top there, and there. A bit more clearly now is the glacier. When I was here before I could see people picking their way along it. don't think you really want to be doing that on a day like today.